the 55-inch LG G4, the 65-inch LG G4, the 42-inch LG C4, the 65-inch LG C4, the 65-inch LG B4. These are some of LG's new 2024 OLED TVs I saw during a workshop at the company's UK headquarters. And here are some upgrades from 2023 models I saw in the picture menu. 1. There's a new 144Hz option in the game optimizer menu on the C4 and G4. By default, these OLEDs will be running at 120Hz out of the box. Since this refresh rate is sufficient for the vast majority of video sources, including the Sony PS5 and the Xbox Series X, which both top out at 4K 120Hz. However, high end PC gamers can now engage 144Hz mode in the game optimizer menu to enjoy higher refresh rates during gameplay. The eagle eyed among you may also have spotted the addition of an ALLM or Auto Low Latency Mode toggle. To explain, ALLM would normally force compatible LG TVs to kick into game mode, causing many TV settings to be disabled and grayed out in order to cut down video processing and reduce input lag. However, some gamers who don't particularly care about input lag may want to engage black frame insertion or BFI to improve motion clarity, or some motion interpolation to smooth out the stutter in 30 FPS games. These gamers can now disable ALLM on LG's 2024 OLED TVs to regain access to these motion settings. Besides the alternative approach of disabling ALLM on the console side, of course. Two. The previous Dolby Vision Cinema Picture Preset has been replaced by Dolby Vision Filmmaker Mode, which, according to LG Electronics citing the UHD Alliance, makes the C4 and G4 the world's first TVs to support Dolby Vision Filmmaker Mode. To be honest, I have already seen Dolby Vision Filmmaker Mode in the picture menu of last year's Philips 908 OLED, but if the UHD Alliance, the organization who invented Filmmaker Mode in the first place, came out and said that LG is first, then who am I to argue? Anyway, Dolby Vision Filmmaker Mode will allow viewers to enjoy both Dolby Vision's dynamic metadata technology and the creative intent of Filmmaker Mode without unnecessary sharpening, noise reduction, motion interpolation, or overscan out of the box. Of course, not every piece of HDR content is available in Dolby Vision, and vanilla HDR10 remains the most common HDR format on the market. The good news is that in HDR10 Filmmaker mode, dynamic tone mapping will be disabled by default from factory, allowing the creative intent to be faithfully reproduced, since the HDR10 presentation will no longer be over-brightened by dynamic tone mapping out of the box. Moreover, there is a new professional submenu that lets users adjust the HDR10 tone mapping manually for 1000, 4000, and 10,000 nit mastering. Some of the more advanced users among you may know that these custom HDR10 tone curve controls were already provided by Portrait Display's Kalman software for LG OLED televisions since 2019. But on 2024 models, you can do so directly through the TV's UI without the need for external calibration software. As previously announced at CES, LG has introduced a WebOS Renew program which promises up to four additional WebOS upgrades for the company's TVs, starting with 2022 models to maintain security and add new features such as Chromecast, which will be supported by the B4, C4, G4, and other 2024 models at launch. The LG G4 will be equipped with a next-gen microlens array or MLA OLED panel and the most advanced Alpha 11 processor, widening the performance gap to the step-down C4, which will feature a non-MLA panel and a less powerful Alpha 9 Gen 7 chipset. Just like in the USA, the 55 and 65 inch LG G4 will be available to buy with a tabletop stand included in the UK and some other European countries. The central stand allows the screen to sit upright, unlike last year's G3 whose official stand caused a slight backward tilt. We've been told that the stand also offers two height positions, namely a low profile one and a higher one to accommodate a soundbar. 
Four HDMI 2.1 ports are located on the left rear of the TV. Onto the step down LG C4, the 42 inch model will continue to use a pair of L shaped feet first seen on the 42 C2 two years ago. Whereas larger C4 models will not only have a central tabletop stand, but also carry an interesting textured finish around the back of the panel. On paper, the entry level LG B4 is arguably the most improved, getting a new Alpha 8 processor, 4 full bandwidth HDMI 2.1 ports, and 9.1.2 channel virtual surround sound compared to last year's B3. The 65 inch B4 we saw at LG's UK headquarters was supported on a pair of white feet near both ends of the TV, and its screen coating certainly wasn't as glossy as that on the LG C4, causing the picture to lose their luster somewhat in the presence of ambient light. Outside of OLED, an honorable mention has to go to the 2024 version of LG's QNED90 mini LED TV whose black level and blooming suppression was so impressive that I immediately walked up to the TV after a workshop demo to capture its subpixel layout. It turned out that the 65-inch QNED90 sample was equipped with a VA-type LCD panel. Hence, the significantly improved contrast performance at the expense of viewing angles. LG Electronics cannot guarantee that every QNED90 screen size in every region will be using a VA panel though, which may explain why the company is reluctant to publicize this surprising fact. Otherwise, the 2024 iteration of LG QNED90 will feature the South Korean brand's new Alpha 8 processor which provides 4 full bandwidth HDMI 2.1 ports, similar to the B4 OLED. If you are undecided about which LG TV to buy, one place where you can get good advice is at Richer Sounds, a trusted British AV retailer with more than 50 stores in the United Kingdom, who provides 6 years warranty on the vast majority of TVs if you join the company's VIP club. You will get the best deals through cheaper VIP exclusive in-store only prices, complimentary gifts or freebies, so go visit your local Richer Sounds store or call Telesales for your next TV purchase. Thanks again for your support. Ok, even though the flagship G4 OLED will come with second generation MLA technology, panel supplier LG Display has actually developed two versions of its MLA 2.0 panel. To find out the differences between the two versions, please watch our explanation video by clicking here.